presidential proclamation 152 has finally expired and what's next for applicants in this video i'll talk about the latest immigration news and i will give you the standing really the current standing on the immigration bills okay bishun gwanda here immigration lawyer in the dc metropolitan area if you're new to my channel please go ahead and subscribe if you're not new welcome back thank you for subscribing and please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and if you enjoy those type of content please go ahead and share like and don't forget to comment below let's get right into it presidential proclamation 152 has finally expired remember that biden the president did not revoke this proclamation prior to the expiration date really the proclamation just stay there and really until its final course really so basically the proclamation suspended or temporarily suspended the entry of certain h1b visa h2b visas j visas and for certain categories within the exchange visitor program and then all non non-migrant okay non-immigrant actually all non-immigrant uh, visas pretty much they were not issuing those type of visas because of the ban the ban has finally expired what's next for applicants two things visa applicants okay who have not yet been interviewed or scheduled for an interview will have their application uh, applications prioritized and processed in accordance uh, with existing phase resumption of visa services guidance really what it means is simply that it is going to go post by post basis where you currently stand let's say prior to the ban really just that's where you they're just gonna resume from where they left off really that's simply what it means and they're actually prioritizing um or giving services first to US citizen and then after that then they will be giving uh, services to other they will be providing services of course to other uh, citizen really post by post basis just wait in the line basically that what they're saying and we know it's going to be uh, a little slow but that's just what it is okay visa applicants who were previously refused visas due to restriction of the presidential proclamation 152 may reapply by submitting a new application including a new fee that's a ripoff okay really to be honest with you if you have been refused the visa not because you didn't meet the criteria, not because you didn't meet the requirements because there was a proclamation already uh, that prevented you really uh, to enter the United States, but now they're asking you to reapply with a new application and a new fee. Rip off, really, that's just honesty right there. But again, if you're really trying to get here, there's no way around this. That's how you have to do it. You just have to reapply and pay them additional fees. Okay, that's it for the proclamation. And what is really going on with the Biden administration as far as uh, applications are concerned? Remember that under Trump, they have to they had to actually uh, just pretty much deny you the uh, benefits just for leaving the application blank certain part of the application uh, when those uh, certain part were left blank they will automatically deny you the benefits and just really deny you because of that but now the uh, biden administration on thursday they have really just uh, get rid of that hole so they ended it that hole pretty much uh, what it means is that when you apply let's say by mistake or just let's say you really did not understand the question and you left the, the place uh the the question blank they will not automatically refuse you your benefit like they will not deny the benefit or reject the application just based on that alone really there has to be a lot of things 
for it to lead to the rejection okay it's not just gonna be because i left number one blank and then rejecting my application they have terminated that hole that was going on under trump okay and then what is going on with the immigration bill my friends really there's not much going on with the immigration bills we know that um couple senators took a trip they went to the border to examine the situation and now we have this senator your senator joe Manchin, a democrat from west virginia he's actually taking action he's calling the congress to actually take actions okay he's calling the congress to really just pass this bill because what he saw at the border is beyond him really he went there to examine the situation just like anybody else went there to examine the situation but what he saw there was beyond him he said that it's beyond time past the time to do immigration reform we just have to go ahead and do it but the question is are they going to do it remember they told us about april 15 and today i believe it's april 3rd so we pretty much have only 12 days left so by april 15 we should know whether this bill is going to pass in spring or not if it doesn't pass then then we start hoping for the next session of the congress you know what i cannot talk a lot about it because i don't have more information that's the latest information that i have pretty much that's it um this is it for today immigration news for today if you need consultation for your case please don't hesitate to call my office 202-751-2180 and please email me as well my email is on display and until next time bye bye